Hey guys, it's Kine again. I don't know about you guys, but I am someone who goes all or nothing when it comes to makeup. Like if you see me in real life, it's either I've got a bare face on or it looks like I'm going to the opera or like I'm in the opera. But there are some occasions I'll admit that it's important for me to like tone down my look. Like the heavy stage makeup that I wear isn't really suitable for like daylight. So the theme of this video is going to be all about how to step up your makeup from a soft daytime look into a sultry nighttime look without having to like take it all off and start over again. So let's get started. So I'm starting off with a bare face, putting my hair back, and then putting on my foundation. And by the way, what you're about to see is my version of a daytime look. I mean, my definition of daytime might be more than what some women wear on their wedding day, but you can pick and choose whatever aspects and tips you want from this video. This is just how I like to do it. And so after the base is on, I'm setting my face with powder because my skin gets really oily and shiny throughout the day, and especially around my nose, and the powder helps prevent that. And I'm gonna do some soft bronzer and blush on the cheeks using a large fluffy face brush so that the product applies very sheer and diffused, which is what we want. For blush, I'll be choosing a more natural brown pink color. I think it goes really well with my tan skin. Bright pink blushes are really better for nighttime, but for daytime, you should opt for the peaches and the brown pinks. On the brows, I'll be using a brow pomade, which is like a cream that you have to apply with a brush. It really lends itself to sharp brows because you can make bold lines, but for now, we're just gonna draw some hair-like strokes wherever we see sparseness in the brow, so we're not creating this bold, crisp brow, just following the natural shape. Now for eyeshadow, all I'm gonna use is the bronzer that I use on the cheeks. I wanted to show you guys that you don't need a ton of eyeshadows to do good eye makeup. You can improvise with face bronzers and blushes and highlighters. I'm just blending this into the eye socket for some really subtle definition. And then we're gonna go in with liquid liner to create a really bold wing. I'm gonna put on false lashes next. These are from a company called Coco Lashes. I like to go for the fluffier, long, spiky styles. They're just the prettiest in my opinion. And I understand not everyone can handle a false lash at 8 in the morning, but I just feel naked without them personally. And they help distract from the fact that I'm a man, so there's that too. Finally, on the lips, I'm lining them with a brown lip liner and then filling them in with nude lipstick. And that's it for the daytime look. Are you bored? Me too. Now to upgrade to nighttime. For starters, I'm gonna make the eyeshadow darker and smokier for the nighttime look. So I'm gonna go in with a dark brown and apply this to the outer corner where that winged liner is. And to contrast that dark eye socket, we're gonna apply this light cream color on the blank space of the inner lid. And as you can see, it just creates a smokier, more dimensional eye with the darker and lighter colors. Here I put in my colored contacts, obviously totally optional, but these light eyes just look so striking I feel like, so if you feel like denying your heritage for the night, it's a great option. On the lower lash line, I'm gonna apply some white cream to the waterline. It's another little drag makeup trick to make the eyes look bigger and more striking. And then I'm gonna apply another pair of false lashes right underneath my real ones. These are like specially made for the bottom, just to add some more smokiness. And then on the top, I'll be adding another pair of lashes, the same one that I used before, just double stacking them now. I'm someone who never wears a single pair of lashes. I love to stack them for more drama. It sounds crazy and heavy, I know, but you really just get used to it. On the brows, we did a more natural fluffy brow earlier, whereas before for the daytime look, I just went with a natural shape. Here I'm elongating the tail of the brow downwards and then defining the shape so that the edges are all more clean and precise, using some concealer to really help achieve that painted on brow look. On the cheeks, I'm gonna add some more bronzer and contour. Oftentimes at night, you're dealing with harsher stage lights, flash photography, so you wanna deepen those contours to make it more obvious, otherwise the face can appear just washed out. And on the cheeks, I'll be applying some highlighter right on the top of the cheekbone. It creates that like wet, shiny look, which looks so pretty when it catches the light. I'm not gonna be changing the lips since I feel like a darker lip would kind of just take attention away from the eyes. But as a final step, I'm gonna add some rhinestones right underneath the eyes and glue them on with lash glue. It's a little bit much, I know, but let's be honest, I gave up on trying to be natural when I put on eyelash number three. This is a finished nighttime look, guys. Let me know which one you prefer, the day one or the night one. Just know that I'm not accepting any other answer besides kind or flawless no matter what. Now, if y'all thought this was a lot of makeup, you can check out my Instagram and YouTube at Online Kind. I do drag transformations and body painting and other sort of like chit chatty videos. Basically, I'm even more of a cake face cross dresser over there. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, everyone. Be sure to follow CBC Life for more videos like this, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Let's get started.